Okay, one of the first things we have to do to get started on replacing our radiator is just to make sure that it's nice and cool to the touch. You definitely don't want to open this up while it's hot. Press this down, turn it counterclockwise, and remove it. Now underneath the left side of the radiator itself, you're going to be able to find the pet cock. The first thing that we need to do here is just go ahead and grab onto this and give it a little twist and we're going to allow the fluid to start coming out. Make sure you have a collection bucket to recycle all of the fluid. So what we're going to do now is just let the coolant finish draining out. After that, we're just going to try to flush out any existing coolant that's still in it. After that, we'll come right up here and start disconnecting this hose. Set this out of the way. Now we're going to move along to starting to remove our radiator mounting bolts. There's one here and there's one over on the passenger side. Set those aside. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and take the fan shroud off of the radiator. You're going to find two mounting points. One right here and one over on the passenger side in approximately the same area. Now with both of those off of there, let's go ahead and grab this hose, take that off of there, just going to put it right on here, and then we can lift this up and separate it from the radiator. Now we're going to continue on to dismounting this from the radiator. You're going to find one mounting bolt right here. Once that's out, we'll take this and slide it towards the passenger side. You're going to notice that it slides out of these two points right here, but also on the passenger side of the radiator has a couple little hooky doos, so we're going to make sure it pops out of that as well. Give this a little wiggle. There we are. So now the next thing we need to do is come down along the bottom right here. You're going to find this plastic shield. It has a couple push clips. There's one here, one there, and then there's a few others that are down the line here. Let's go ahead and pop all those out so we can get this out of the way. Now back underneath the truck, what we need to do is remove this bolt right here, which holds this cooler to the bottom of the radiator. There's another one over on the passenger side that will do the same thing too. Let's come over to the driver's side and go ahead and close up this petcock. And now let's go over to the passenger side and remove the lower radiator hose. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have your collection bucket under this because of course there's always the possibility that coolant will come out. Now back up top, we're just going to carefully grab onto this right here. Slide it off, do the same over on the passenger side. Now we can grab onto that radiator and slide it up and out. There it is, friends. Once the radiator's out, we're going to continue on to removing this rubber grommet from the bottom. Okay, friends, now it's time to install our brand new radiator. To get started on that, we're going to take that rubber piece that we removed from the original radiator and slide it right down inside its hole on the body. Now as we slide our new radiator down, we want to be very careful not to damage any of our cooling fins. If you do, it's going to restrict airflow through the radiator. Okay, so I've got it so that ear fell down into my rubber grommet down there. Now we're going to grab our two upper grommets for this. Just slide them right in there. Okay, now we'll leave this loose and get back underneath the truck. All right, let's line up our power steering cooler with where it belongs on the bottom aspect of the radiator. We'll take our bolt, slide through from the front to the rear. Take your nut, start it on there. And now do the same to the other one. 
Once you have them both started, we'll snug them up. Now let's connect on our lower radiator hose. Make sure you slide it all the way on as far as it can go. Try to line up the clamp with the original area you removed it from and snug it up. You definitely want to make sure these are nice and tight. Now back up in front of the truck, we're going to continue on by putting this on here. Just go ahead and line up these tabs right along here. Slide that right in. Now along this side over here, you want to make sure that you have those lines going into the little hooky-doos that are on the side of the radiator. Start our bolt in there and snug it up. All right, let's go ahead and get our radiator situated. We'll start in both of our bolts and then we'll snug them up. Make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, now before we can go ahead and put the fan shroud on here, we need to make sure that we grab these pieces out of our radiator box. Now what we need to do with these is just go ahead and slide these onto the radiator so it's facing in this direction. If you put it so the little bobble's facing towards this, obviously it's not going to work right. Now we're going to put our radiator fan shroud on here. You want to make sure that you have this area lined up with the hooky doos that are on the radiator as you press it down. Now let's go ahead and start in both of our mounting bolts before we tighten either of them up. Now let's get this plastic piece back in here. Line up all your tabs and press them in. Just climb underneath and make sure you get all the lower ones as well. Let's reconnect our upper radiator hose. Now, if you still have coolant inside of your overflow, it's a good idea to go ahead and replace that as well. You can either try to suck it out with a turkey baster or whatever you might have, or of course, you could just try to take it off of right here, disconnect some hoses, and then just dump it out. But at the same time, more than likely, you're going to lose all of your washer fluid as well. Now it's going to be time to fill the coolant. Make sure you use the manufacturer's specified coolant, and of course, make sure it's mixed 50-50 coolant and water. Okay, so now that we have the coolant so it's full, the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and hop inside the truck. You're going to run it and let it run for a little while. When you do that, make sure you have your blower motor on at least medium, and of course, make sure you have the heat selector on hot. While it's running, we're going to come back out here and we're going to look inside this funnel. We want to be watching for air bubbles that come popping up out of there. Continue running it until you see no more air bubbles. After that, all you would do is just go ahead and close this off, remove it, and then of course recycle any of the coolant that's left over. Once that's all done, go ahead and take your radiator cap, slide it right on here, turn it so it's all the way latched in. Lastly, you want to make sure that the overflow is full to the point that it needs to be. After that, take it for a road test.